All right, speaking with sports now, but just before their season got started, a local youth football team say they're devastated because a fire burned down all of their equipment and their shed, leaving nothing behind but ash and debris in the northeast part of Columbia. News 19's Tai Wong spoke with some parents who believe the blaze might have been set on purpose. You know, we're, we're talking about not just a, uh, a football organization, but a, a, a part of the fabric of this, this neighborhood. $30,000 worth of youth football equipment like padding, helmets, and jerseys for the Capital City Ravens destroyed in a fire Monday morning. Parent Craig Smith says the loss is heartbreaking. To hear that something that they hold here near and dear uh, has been attacked and vandalized, um, it, it struck a special nerve with, with a lot of the parents. The trophies you see smashed on the ground represent a Pop Warner football team that began their program in 2013. Coach Hiram Brown says the kids he coaches from kindergarten to seventh grade are more than just teammates, they're family. It's, it's, it's kind of it's devastating being that when we first started out here, there was nothing in that shed and over the years we done, we done built it from the ground up. Seeing the destruction for the first time on Tuesday, parents like Tamara Brown and Adria Felder are left almost speechless. Seeing our sons and our daughters and everything the coaches have put into Ravens family, like Purple Saturdays, and to see it all gone, that's devastating. It really is. It's mean. Is vengeful for kids, not just the adults, but for the kids. Coach Brown says this fire is not the end of the fourth quarter for the Purple Ravens. It's halftime. Hey, we down 0 0. Hey, now it's time to rebuild. Let's try to finish the game strong. So, hey, we're going to get together and come up with a game plan. And when the clock hits 0 0 0, the Ravens will be back. Reporting in Columbia, Taiwan, News 19, WLTX. That is awful, but here's the good news. You have a chance to help, and the Columbia Fire Marshal is still investigating the cause of the blaze. Of course, we'll let you know what happens, but a GoFundMe has been set up for anybody who would like to help the team buy some new equipment. So to find out how you can help, check out Ty's story at WLTX.com.